हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित शर्मा कंसल्टेंट यूरोलॉजिस्ट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल खराड़ी एंड आई एम हियर टू टॉक अबाउट रीनल स्टोन्स एंड हाउ द पैराडाइम हैज़ नाउ शिफ्टेड इन इट्स मैनेजमेंट रीनल स्टोन्स आर वेरी कॉमन इन महाराष्ट्र वी कम इन द स्टोन बेल्ट ऑफ द कंट्री विच एन कम पास ऑल द वे फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र टू पंजाब सो रीनल स्टोन्स आर अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम दैट वी एनकाउंटर इन आर आउट पेशेंट्स एंड इन आर कम्युनिटी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ इंडियंस हैव स्टोन्स विच require treatment sooner or later so earlier the management of renal stones was a very invasive procedure we used to perform open surgery or laparoscopic surgery or even when it moved into a keyhole surgery which was pcnl we used to perform pcnl through big punctures thereby damaging a quite a bit of the renal parenchyma with the advancements in lasers that we have right now which is the latest one which is the thulium fiber laser we are able to perform renal stone surgery and clearing the stone in any nook and corner of the kidney without any incision on the body without any cut or any scar we do this with the help of a flexible endoscope which has a laser fiber through it and whereby we dust the stone all the destructive procedures which we used to do earlier are now pretty much obsolete even the keyhole surgery which is required sometimes when the stone is too large or almost com- uh, encompassing the whole kidney we have now been able to miniaturize the hole that we make in the kidney thereby reducing the damage to the parenchyma and helping preserve the renal function on the prevention forefront we are now able to analyze why renal stones occur in the sub- certain subset of populations if there are any specific dietary measures which we can undertake or which we can advise whereby the stone reduction occurs in the future most commonly in our stone belt we have a calcium oxalate stone however there are certain surprises by struvite and other stones which we encounter in our practice we have now been able to tailor the nutritional requirements for the prevention of these kind of stones at manipal hospital kharadi we undergo a complete evaluation of why a patient forms a stone at the first stone episode thereby helping the patient prevent a further occurrence if required we also have a very modern system for the treatment where rirs is routinely performed and it can even be done as a day care procedure so i would like to talk about certain myths which are present in the community regarding stones and regarding what leads to stone formation the biggest myth that we encounter patients which uh, generally says that they have been advised not to take calcium however the contrary is true calcium in the diet does not lead to stones in the urinary system it is uh, actually a preventive measure for formation of stones so generally what measures do we advise to all patients who have uh, stones so first and foremost or the most important factor is reduction of total overall salt in the diet so indian diet does not encompass more than 1.5 to 2 grams which is acceptable for a stone patient however when you add salt preserved foods or snacks like which are very common at tea time in india these lead to a very drastic increase in the amount of salt which is in the diet so any time that there is a amount of salt which crosses more than 3 gram per day it leads to a very high rate of stone formation secondly a uh, lot of people also have the myth that mangoes or chikus lead to stone formation nothing about that is true all uh, fruits which we have in india they are all preventive for stone formation any fruit which we eat is actually preventive because it has antioxidants which helps reduce the redux potential of the kidney thereby leading to prevention of the stone so but if you ask us what is the best fruit that you can eat for preventing stone so citrus fruits and melon fruits they have a special added advantage over the antioxidants they also have citrate compounds which lead to the reduction of stone formation third myth which we encounter very commonly in our opd is beer helps pass out the stones beer in the short term leads to a increased urine output whereby pa- patients perceive that they are, there is a higher tendency that they will form stones however once the beer has gone through the system after the initial diuresis it leads to a severe dehydration which actually leads to increase in the amount of stone forming tendency of the patient so beer does not lead to passage of stones now coming to the foods that one must be cautious about when uh, having stones 
so oxalate rich foods are actually the main culprit in india being a vegetarian country primarily we have a lot of veg vegetables in our diet lot of these vegetables are rich in oxalates which leads to oxalate excretion in the kidney thereby leading to oxalate stone formation so things like spinach tomatoes brinjals vegetables from the brassica family these are all high in oxalates and these are some foods which should be avoided or should be uh, taken with in moderation or at least with a calcium source to help prevent stone formation lastly what about the uh, fluid intake in the body lot of patients come to us with targets of 5 liters 6 liters that is not required more than 2 liters of urine output per day is an over hydration and it is something which has to be titrated according to the weather in summers it might go up to as high as 3 liters and but in winters and monsoons it might come down to something like 1 to 1.5 liters lastly the need for moderate physical exercise cannot be over emphasized obesity is one of the leading causes for stones and recurrence of stones in certain patients so moderate exercise which encompasses around 20 minutes of uh, swift brisk walking or swift walking or any and type of endurance training is recommended if you, a patient is smoking or drinking alcohol or eating red meat in excess those things have to be avoided smoking as such does lead to stone formation so smoking must be stopped completely however alcohol and red meat in moderation do not lead to recurrent stone episodes thank you friends